Our latest sporting heroine is a woman who has rowed her way across the Atlantic. It's taken Deborah three and a half months to row from Tenerife to Barbados. She started her journey with her husband, but continued on her own when he pulled out after only two weeks. This is fascinating. It's going to be brilliant. Her name is Deborah Searle. But I come up from the underground and I'm like this, come on, you can do it. You know, I'm like supercharged. I mean, it just has such an impact on the way I feel. And going into that next meeting, that's what I need, not defeated Deborah. My mindset is the bit that I'm accountable for. Not anyone else's, not the customers, not my colleagues. It's me. This is the bit I can do something about. And I think I just had to see myself that way. Because if I hadn't, I don't think I ever would have been able to move on from that paralysis, that fear. That was what gave me the courage to say, yeah, I'm going to at least give it a go. Deborah Searle is definitely the best I have ever heard. I cried and I cried. She's amazing. It didn't matter anymore that they didn't believe I could make it. What mattered was that I believed I could make it. Because I was that line there, don't give up. And it was, I know this sounds a bit crazy, but it was like he was singing it just to me. Like, like every time he sang it, it was like, come on, Deborah, don't give up now. You've come way too far. I was so outside my comfort zone and, and, and it made me tearful and then angry and you know every emotion under the sun. What would it look like for us to step outside the comfort zone this week? What would we do differently? Because if we always do what we've always done, we'll always get what we've always got as a business. I was just blown away by it, as, as my team were. And I think getting out of the comfort zone and never giving up is just the key to everything. And choosing your own attitude. Is that his words, they were, they were free. Those words cost nothing to say. And we, we all have this abundant supply, this unlimited supply of free words, and yet how do we choose to use them each day with our customers, with our colleagues? And it was contagious. These free words were contagious. You know, so I just think it, we've got to have every little tool in the bag so that we stay motivated and productive. Well, I do because I'm not naturally the kind of person that kind of leaps out of bed in the morning full of the joys of spring. I hate those people. That's not me. And so I'm really reliant on these techniques. And I'd say out loud to myself, right, come on, Deborah, choose your attitude. Which one is it going to be today? And I'd make myself pick one, although it had to be a positive one, because like negative ones were banned from the boat. Uh, and I can't help believe that that is a key for a lot of us. That if we can choose the right attitude, and actually if we've got the right people around us, anything, absolutely anything, is possible. Oh my God, what an incredible story. And there were, she had a standing ovation, so that was a good sign. Uh, but there were people crying. I mean, it was just phenomenal. And it was, it's been the best speaker of the whole event. I have to say, it was the best by far. But wouldn't that have been such a good end to the story? That would have been like the dream ending, wouldn't it? Thank you.